This is one rubber bellow. This rubber bellow has been made using three layers of neoprene rubber or EPDM rubber and two layers of intermediate nylon fabric core sheet. Then entire assembly is heated inside a die after pressing it in the die and then this bellow is formed. This rubber bellow can take about 15 mm axial compression like this and 15 mm axial extension like this. and 15 mm lateral deflection means like this 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 type of lateral movement and this is bending or angular movement like this like this and also this bellow can take torsional movement about 2 to 3 degree like this, like this, this is torsional movement. Now I am assembling this bellow with other accessories like tie rod, stretcher plate, retainer rings, all these things. This is the end flange, like this. This end flange should be welded with the pipe before connecting with the rubber bellow. If we weld the end flange after connecting with rubber bellow, then due to welding heat, this rubber may be melted. Now this is one piece of split retainer ring and this is another piece of split retainer ring these two retainer rings are splitted at bolt hole location here if we split on other location like this and like this then what will happen when we will make it bolted tight then rubber may come out in this split area. When we split the retainer ring at bolt hole location, then due to compression, rubber will come inside the hole area and rubber will not come out. For this reason, the splitting of retainer ring is made at bolt hole location like this. Now I am mounting the bolts like this. Now one set of stretcher plate is mounted outside the metallic flange like this. Then another set of stretcher plate is mounted like this.
in similar way we mount this reclinable rings and companion flange with bolts on other side then we provide the tie rod like this then we provide stretcher plate from this side through the tie rod like this and another set of tie rod like this then another set of stretcher plate like this So inside the stretcher plate we provide one nut and lock nut this side and one nut and lock nut this side. Similarly on outer side of tie rod we provide one nut like this. lock nut like this so this is the assembled bellow these two are tie rods having eight nuts this side and eight nuts on that side these two are stretcher plates outside the metallic flange this side and this side these two are stretcher plates now this is the assembled bellow with all accessories